All right, what's good, what's good? I've had a couple people ask me how I do my music visualizers, whether it be beats, whether it be song releases, anything of that sort. So we're gonna go ahead and run through what you need to do that and how to accomplish it. So two things you need. You need Adobe Photoshop to do, you know, your main graphics text, you know, to overlay on top of your background itself. And you need a program called HitFilm Express. HitFilm Express is a free video editor. You can download it at fxhome.com. So you'll need that. And you'll also need to get the add-on Motion Audio Visual, or audio visual <laughs> from their store. It's only 25 bucks. You know, you can't beat that. After Effects is way more expensive. You know, this is the cheapest, most efficient route I was able to find personally. So once you have that, you'll go ahead and open up Photoshop. Here's just a template I have. Ignore the background image because it's going to be a transparent picture. I just have this up for reference. The beat we're going to be doing a visualizer on is this beat called Against the Wall. We notice that the beat is 168 BPM. It's called Against the Wall. So we'll go ahead and go into this template and start changing things. 168. And the beat name is against the wall. And as you can see, that sticks out a little farther than what I want it to, but that's fine. So just to make things uniform, we'll go ahead and move this Swagstar Beats over here. And we'll go ahead and move BPM over here. And just for the sake of keeping everything uniform, we'll just make this a little bit smaller. I want to make sure it's centered with everything. Bam. There we go. So we got against the wall, swags our beats, 168 BPM. And this right here never changes. So what we'll do is we'll make the background transparent, file, save as save to your computer and we want to make sure this is a png which is a transparent image we'll go ahead and go swagstar beats beat visualizer render files main video text this is called against the wall save okay so now that we have our files we have the beat we have everything we need we will go ahead and switch to hit film express. All right, it's pretty much just telling me files are missing from the last visualizer I did. So let's go ahead and delete the files that we don't need real quick. So we'll go ahead and delete these. All right, so all you're left with now is an audio visualizer. To make one of those, you go, new layer plane so you want to make sure it's 1920 by 1080 which is full resolution video and then for effects you will go to audio spectrum layer only you move that over to the plane layer and that's how you get started on your audio visualizer but we already have one of those so we're going to go ahead and remove this the plain layer we just created. All right, so as far as media goes, we'll go ahead and drag our beat in. We'll go ahead and drag the image we're gonna be using. And then we'll go ahead and drag the text file we just created. So we'll go beat visualizer, rendered files, main video text, against the wall, drag that in. Okay, so, a visualizer is pretty much made up of three things. You got the visualizer, the text, and the beat itself. Visualizer, text, beat, and background, sorry. So, I'm going to go ahead and delete this new plane too. All right. So we have against the wall, the text, the background, drag those over. You want to make sure that the text is above the visualizer. And then you end up with something like this. All right. 
So this being the graphic, it's actually really, really big. So we're going to scale this down a little bit. Something like that. And then another cool thing you could do is let's go ahead and find the beat track real quick. We're going to go show waveform. All right. So we know that the beat itself is as long. So let's go ahead and drag all these sections to match the length of the beat. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and a keyframe there. I'm going to set this keyframe to 45. Then we're going to do another keyframe here. And this one is going to be, fuck it, 70. There we go. All right. A little bit of technical difficulties and relearning a program. But, so now we have it to where the background is more in motion rather than just a still image. And it'll slowly, slowly come in. You see what I'm saying? So that's dope. It doesn't really come in as fast as I wanted to. So we're going to go ahead and click this one. We're going to go to this keyframe right here. And we're going to go ahead and zoom in, in a little bit more. That way there's a little bit more action going on. All right. So we got against the wall. Swags our beats 168 BPM. So now we're going to go to our audio visualizer. And we're going to go audio spectrum, audio input, and select the beat we just made. So right here, the tag version wave, you select that. And now when we hit play, now you can see the audio spectrum, the visualizer is moving. Swag star B. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So now we want to go ahead and export this video. So we're going to go export. We're going to go contents. Go to export. The video will be 2 minutes and 54 seconds. We're going to go ahead and use the YouTube 1080 preset. Let's go ahead and save this under Beat Visualizer completed. All these have already been uploaded, so we're going to delete all these. All right, so this is against the wall beat visualizer and save. So now once we have the settings and properties in set in place, we'll just go ahead and hit start exporting. Sometimes this takes a long time. Sometimes it don't, depending on how fast or slow your computer is. You know, me, obviously, I'm recording a video through OBS, so it's going to be a little lengthy. Okay, so here, as we can see, the beat visualizer is finished. So if we go ahead and go to the folder itself, no, not the Studio One folder, we'll go beat visualizer completed. So as you can see, we now have, oh, can I unfull screen this? Jesus. Now we have a working visualizer, right? The zooms in, simple, straight to the point, whatever be the case. But some of you might be asking, oh, well, you know, Instagram isn't 1920 by 1080. I mean, you can upload those type of videos, but they look shrunken, you know, and don't really look that great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and delete that export, it's already done. We're gonna go back to the project file Right here with Beat Visualizer, we're going to go ahead and Settings. We're going to change the width to 1080 to where we have a square file. Okay? So now when we hit play, now it's the same thing, just in square format. See what I'm saying? So now it's perfect for Instagram. Uh, one thing with HitFilm Express, as far as, you know, making things for Instagram, I had to make a different uh, export template type thing, but I'll go ahead and explain that. So with Instagram, 
videos are shorter. So what we want to do is we want to figure out where that initial kick hits, which is right about here. Let's go ahead and make sure that's it. I'm going to go ahead and move this over here a little bit. this somewhere that makes a little more sense so right here this would be a 34 second video so we want to export just this little section right here all right so we will go ahead and hit export but this time we will go in out area that way it only exports the 33 second loop that we generated all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go Instagram 1080 HD and I think I can show you the settings that I made for that. Where would that be at? Okay, here's the settings for the Instagram one that I had to personally create because I couldn't get any of the other ones to work for Instagram. So if you want to copy these settings right here, that's what I personally used, and it works great. All right, so now we'll save it as the same thing, but instead of beat visualizer, we'll just go ahead and put Instagram here. And start exporting. These normally obviously take shorter amounts of time because they're smaller shrunken down files, and it's only 33 seconds compared to three minutes. But yeah, that pretty much sums up how I create my visualizers and what all goes into doing so. But Mike at SwagStarBeats.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it useful in some sort of way. But yeah, have a blessed day.